Proverbs chapter 31, and in verse 8 it says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. I think moms are best at this. Moms are best at knowing who the weak ones are. Moms are best at knowing at who the ones are being picked on. But our moms have shared with us over time that, you know what, there are going to be weak people in your life. In fact, they're going to be in your classroom. They're going to be people that you work with. They're going to be people just in your everyday walk. What is it that you are doing and what is it that I am doing to help them? Because here's the thing. If God has made you strong, if he has put his strength inside of you, what are you doing with it to help others? Because the weak are those that we are helping. They can't see God for whatever reason. They aren't able to look past their own surroundings. They aren't able to get past because people have been pushing them down, beating up, even bullying, whatever it might be. Who is it in your life that you have made the decision that I'm going to step up for? The woman that they are talking about through here is someone who sees these things and wants us to be strong in our faith, just as our moms usually want us to be strong in our faith as well. My hope for you today is that you can see someone who is weak and you can say, you know what? They need to know God's strength and I am choosing to help them along this path. Would you rest in that just a little bit tonight? Would you think about that a little bit? Because this is a, this is a pretty big area. It's a pretty big area because there are so many people out there that are weak because they don't know God's love. We'll talk more about those special ladies as we continue as we dive into Proverbs chapter 31 this week.